All right. Okay. One of the things about the past um, and the history, and I am a, a history buff, is not only can you not change it, we cannot change what we had for breakfast, let alone history, but the history that we have in the past opens up the pathways to the future, not just what we have accomplished, but things that are highlighted that need to be accomplished. And therefore, I would like to go over some of the uh, more delicate and less delicate issues that came up this year, and some of which we nailed down wonderfully, and others which we need to continue to work. I want to also say I loved being mayor. Of the six years that I've been on this council, this was the greatest. I loved the fact that people would come to you with their hopes, and you were able to deal with it. I love that our staff was able to have a situation where I could say yes as many times as possible. And yes, I also said no on occasion. Working as a team with the council and with our staff was my greatest satisfaction. I often joke that when I wake up in the morning, I was mayor. When I go to bed at night, I was the mayor and I was mayor in all times in between. I made myself available to everyone just about any time, any place, although Pete's Coffee at Oak Grove and Treat, that's usually my office. It is something which I want to look forward to seeing, setting the pattern as being accessible to everyone. I've had notes on my uh, car about their AT&T bill. I've had People knock on my door at 9 o'clock for various issues that uh, uh, cannot be repeated. And I have also met the kids, the teachers, the businessmen, the landlords, the tenants, everyone. The mayor needs to be there for everybody. Listen to everyone. And that was one of the things I tried. And I thought I was successful. But we can go more. I would like us to see going forward is having the ability for the people to have a discussion on future agenda items. I would like to see that our standing committees are open to public discussions. I would like to see that we have a directly elected mayor because I really love this job and one year is not enough. On our safety issue, I would be remiss if I hadn't repeated my mantra for the last 10 years, I want a substation in the monument. I was very happy that we opened up one in Toto Santos. And as I said when I voted for it, I will not vote for another one unless we get it in the monument. That's what got me into this position in the first place. I would also like to put a special theme that I put on for this year, which was that we are conquered 150 years that we were established by the people, and the people gave us this name Concord because we wanted to be in concordance and harmony with one another. This city was founded after the total destruction of the town of Pacheco. The people who came here had nothing. They were poor. They were given land, the business, to get going. They stood together. It was supposed to be called Total Santos. The people, within six months, called it Concord. And for some, it was Concord in the, city, in the town of Total Santos. We right now are in a various series sets of crisis. We need to remember that we need to be in concordance and harmony. We have a section of our poorest people who are having very difficult problems with housing. We have a homeless issue. We have mental health issues. We need to remember that we must be in concordance and harmony with one another. There are difficult issues here. There are conflicts, but a balance can be obtained. This city was built by people pulling together to solve their problems. That's what lies ahead. 
whether it be on rent issues, mental health issues, or the homeless. I look forward that we will solve more of these. We dodged the bullet with the weapon station and the turning it into a giant orphanage for an immigration policy that seems to have everyone spinning. We were able to go through that and go through some fires right here in this city with Lyme Ridge and elsewhere on fire. We were able to deal with the fact that we had a major arson fire downtown and the people of Concord came out in the middle of the night to help the people who had to be evacuated. The Presbyterian Church, Vinnie's Bar, the uh, Umqua Bank, everyone and our, our public uh, workers, they came out and we were able to get through it. This was an example of us at our best. And I look forward that on the issues that we have, that we will again stay together and overcome whatever there is. And it's only gonna do it if we work together and find a balance and find a way in the middle. And with that, I would like to conclude by just saying, boy, I really do love this job. And thank you.